Hoppy does have a career home run against Tanner Houck. That came back in 2021. It's his only hit against this Red Sox right-hander. Or second inning in three of his last four games. And he's got another one tonight to lead things off. Jose Altuve drawing those walks. He does go. The 3-2 pitch is lined into center field for a base hit. Altuve will go first to third, no problem. Alex Bregman with a single to right center. The Astros in business, first and third, nobody out. That is just two quality at bats to start this game for the Houston. Little tapper towards first. Dominic Smith will go to second for one. The turn in time for the double play. Astros score a run. Jordan will not get an RBI on the double play, but it's one to nothing as the Astros on the board first. Kidding. That one sent high in the air to center field. Playable for Sedan Raffaella. And he puts it away for the final out. But the Astros on the board in the first. With Duran takes a first pitch fastball just off the plate. First time that right now has faced the Boston Red. Gets this ball towards the wall and left. Jordan and Jake Myers will wait for it to bounce off the wall. And Duran has double number 36 on the season. A leadoff base runner for the Red Sox here in the first. Good pitch. Abreu doesn't like it until he watches the video review of that one because that looked like it had. Ground ball to the right side. Altuve with two big hops makes the play to Zach Dezenzo for out number two. Here's the Astros starting defense. It's presented. Swing and a miss. Blanco picks up a strikeout, has two in the first inning to get through a leadoff double. Abreu and Devers Houck here in the second inning. John pops one up on the infield. Rafael Devers, the third baseman, puts it away for out number one. In your rotation, but a lot of guys this time of year could use an extra breather. This one tapped towards third. Devers with a backhand play. His throw is low, and Jeremy almost beats it out. Nice scoop at first by Dominic Smith. Three and one the count to Zach Dezenzo. Zach hits one towards short, backhanded by David Hamilton, and it goes off his glove and into left field. That looked like it was going to be the final out of the inning. Instead, Dezenzo reaches with two outs. He has 70 errors, and the Red Sox have 86. This one grounded to third. Devers has it. He'll go to second, and they'll get the force on Dezenzo. That'll do it for the Astros in the second. An error, one man left busy as a venue they had a concert player the visiting team couldn't get in here until five o'clock yesterday as Jeremy Pena makes the throw over to first for the first out of the innings because I love the sport so much so awesome three two pitch how about right now you talked about the changeup being a good pitch but how about the slider there this ball hit into center field Nick Sogard will have a base hit Sogard has now reached in all six games this season He's a two out base runner. Now he's down in the count three and one. There's a ball in the center field for a base hit. Jordan Baker had to get out of the way. The umpire stopping at second is so guarded. Now runners on first and second with a couple of two out hits for the Red Sox. To the bottom of the order. And Hamilton laces one into left center field. That'll be down for a hit. Go to the wall. One run's going to score. Raffaella is being waved around. Jeremy Pena will make a throw, but not in time. A two RBI double for Hamilton. And just like that, with two outs and nobody on, three straight hits and a 2 1 lead for the Red Sox. Has given up three consecutive hits here to the bottom of the order. And this one lined into center, but it's going to hang up for Jake Myers. And that'll do it for the Red Sox in the second. Three straight hits. Four hitters, and then Kyle Tucker comes back. He can add another big stick to that lineup. Hamilton with a strong throw, getting Mauricio Dubon. He bounced it a couple of times, but he got it in our Ask the Boost segment about Kyle Tucker. Seems like we get one every time we do one of these, whether it's a Tuesday night or a Friday night. There's a play by Willier Abreu as Altuve goes after the first pitch and skies out. Said that he might have a friend on the Tampa Bay Lightning that's a goalie. And just go ahead and get one of those hockey goalie pads and put it on the front leg. <laughs> Two outs, last half in. Jordan hits one to short. Hamilton will take it to the bag himself, just ahead of Alex Bregman, and that'll do it for the Astros in the third. One walk. For the West, I'm sorry, for the West of us. The crazy thing about Boston is weather can change on the time. But yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to hit till after 9 Eastern. The Sataka, Masataka. 
into center. Jake Myers coming on, puts it away for the second out. Tries to go to the fastball here, and that's a 3 2 walk. So, two out base runner. Good pitch outside corner. Connor Wong frozen on a call, third strike. That's the four strikeout for Blanco. Also, combining that with some questions about Fenway Park and how we like some of the new additions to the stadium here as Yiner Diaz grounds one to Rafael. Oh, I'm not cool. I don't do anything fun anymore. Singleton sends this one into center field playable for Raffaella. That's the second out, but a great city for an off day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, watch out. Here comes Julia. It's getting here earlier. Paperwork. You may, if Pena Speed beats us, you'll have to sit through the rain a little longer, and it does. Good hustle, Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. Oh, to the count. To Zach Dezenzo. There goes Jeremy. The pitch is a called strike, and that'll do it for the Astros in the fourth. Infield hit, one left on. We hit. In the center field, Myers back on it, still going back, reaches up and makes a catch on the warning track. That was hit well to center field. It'll be a walk issued by Blanco, so he has walked two now. The order doing some damage for Boston last time. There goes Sogard, the pitch is a strike, the throw by Yiner is high. Altuve tried to come down with a tag and couldn't quite get it down. That pitching arm. Yeah, that could create some issues with that delivery and release point trying to find that zone. Back to back walks issued by Blanco. On the ground towards Altuve. He'll go to short for one. No chance for the double play. Pena looks the runner back to third. That'll be the second out of the inning. That's going to be a run on a throwing error by Renal Blanco. Trying to pick off the runner at first base. It got past Zach Dezenzo. And that scores Nick Sogard. And going first to third on the error is David Hamilton. Got him. Foul tip caught by Yiner Diaz. Blanco picks up a strikeout to end the inning, but an error with two outs. Positioning, footwork, everything. Just a good refresher course to get. Yeah, that was good to see that extra work going on at Globe Life Field the other day. Jake Myers leads off with a single for the Astros. Count one and two here on Dubon. And he's hit by a pitch. The Astros will have the first two runners on here in a two run game. Mauricio hit with a two strike pitch. Into center field, following quickly, but it's going to hold up for Sidon Raffaella, who makes the catch for out number one. It's a place where he was always hit well here at Fenway. Grounds this one slowly to the right side. They're going to get the force out at second, and they try and turn the double play. It bounces in there, knocks the glove off the pitcher, Tanner Howe. Runner safe on the corners on a low throw. Well, they're going to say they're going to intentionally walk Jordan to put the tying run now into scoring position. That's how much they respect Jordan here. There's ground ball towards short. Hamilton will make the throw to first in time. The Astros will strand. The base is loaded. Swing and a miss. King strikes out a Brayu for the first out of the fifth inning. Six strikeouts for Astros pitch. The monster. And that's been a part of the tradition that Julia has helped out with. Bregman's going to have some room here. And he will make the catch for out number two. Any rookies make it into the monster today? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ground ball, speaking of Payne, he's got this on two hops. Took a funny little bounce on him, but he stayed with it. Devers was hustling, but he's out by less than a step. Good one, two, three inning out of the bullpen. For one. The Astros to just the three hits in addition to those three walks. There's hit number four, John Singleton towards the gap in right center, cut off by Raffaella, who gets it back in quickly. Singleton, a leadoff base runner here in the sixth inning. Single, here's Jeremy Pena. Pena, a little tapper towards the mound. Hauk will throw to second for one. No chance to get Pena on the return. They don't even throw the ball. As far as 93.3 in this game. Hit hard, but towards the shortstop, Hamilton underhands it to second, and they turn a double play on Desenzo. 
couple of starts in his career. This one into right field. Plenty of time for Mauricio Dubon to get there. Connor Wong retired for the first out of the sixth inning. Got him. Yiner will make the throw down to first as that ball was picked out of the dirt. And that'll be the second out of the inning. First out for Caleb or first strikeout for Caleb Ward. Wow. Called third strike. What an inning for the former Red Sox in his return to Fenway Park. Caleb Ward. That ball hit pretty decently in the right center field. Raffaella going all the way back. It's over his head. And it's in that little triangle area bouncing around. So Jake will get to third easily. Here comes the throw. Jake is safe with the head first slide. And I was watching that. That's triples triangle out there. Sims right-handed hitters. And Mauricio goes down on strikes here. That's the first out of the inning. And drives this one deep to left field. All the way back and gone. Over the monster for a tying two-run home run. We're knotted up at three. Altuve hitting his 15th home run of the year. And that's why we want Jose Altuve to swing the bat. Little hesitation at third base as he comes around the bag to score. Big swing off the bat of Jose Altuve. Got himself a sweeper right out over the middle part of the plate. AT&T fiber fast play is a hanging slider that gets punished. Up over that green monster in left field. Altuve knew it off the bat. Wasn't crushed, but plenty to get it out of here. Good bats. Bregman with a line drive into left field. That'll be down for a hit. Getting over to play it quickly back in is Jaron Duran. Bregman, a one-out base runner. Sims here. Jordan smashes one off the glove of Smith. That's a fair ball. Nobody's going to go after the ball, and everybody's safe. Smith started to go after it, and then he went back to cover the bag, and there was no chance for Sogard to get there in time. He does get one. He singles in the left field, being held up as Bregman. Bringing the ball back in is Jaron Duran. The Astros have the bases loaded with one out in a tie game here in the seventh. Good job by Yiner. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be down for a hit. One run scores. Jordan being held up. He puts on the brakes as the throw comes home. Astros take a 4-3 to three lead on the RBI base hit by John Singleton. He hit it like he threw it. Pena drives a single to center field. One run scores. They'll go station to station. A 5-3 game. Astros bunching up five consecutive hits. Six hits in the inning and lead it by two. The Astros only being able to. Base is filled. Towards the middle of the diamond. Glove there by Sogard goes to short. Hamilton turns a double play. Second time. In as many innings, Dezenzo ends the inning with a... Got him! Caleb Ort wins the battle against Zadon Raffaella. And gets... Utter. Towards Altuve and into center field for a base hit. Going first to third is going to be Romy Gonzalez. And the Red Sox have the tying runs aboard here with one out. Aaron Duran with his second hit of the game. Got him. Big strikeout for Ferguson right there. Getting Ref Snyder for the second out. Got a little. Try and get out of this jam. He's going to face a new hitter. There goes the runner. No throw. No. Stolen base for Jaron Duran. Second and third. And down and in ball four. Scott got the benefit of a call in that sequence, but still couldn't find the you got to be careful and live on that top rail. Got him! Huge strikeout for Taylor Scott. Devers slams his helmet at home plate. And let's pretend like this is our second opening day, and they've played very well since then. As Meyer sends one to left field, pretty well hit. But back on it near the wall, making the catch is Jaron Duran for out number one. Things back a little bit. Use Taylor Scott to get out of an inning, and then use Brian Abreu and Ryan Presley to potentially close the game out. So Abreu is actually warming up now. Not available today. Man, you are connected. <laughs> two, two pitch, chopped towards short should be easy for David or the new shortstop in the game. 
making the play for the final out. That is Sogard. Nick Sogard. Swing and a miss. Abreu comes in and blows one past Connor Wong. Righty on righty continues to work. Was good, but not maybe at his best. Wasn't as sharp yet. Little command issues as he gets Dominic Smith to ground out to first base. Zach Dezenzo taking that himself. Just Rennell, but guys like Spencer Arigetti, even Hunter Brown. This ball looped down the right field line. It's going to be a fair ball and hop into the crowd for a double. Nick Sogard loops one down the right field line for a two out double here in the eighth inning with the rain starting to come down a little stronger. Yelling now with a 3 0 count and a two run game. And that is a four pitch walk to put the tying run on first base. Second part of this order. Yeah, the pop. Ground ball towards Bregman. Two big hops. Alex takes his time, throws a strike, and that'll do it for the Red Sox in the eighth inning. They leave two more on. Five. Nine in the count, 2 0. Oh, Abreu fighting back to strand two runners. Bregman drives one towards the monster and left. That'll be high off the wall. Bregman's going to think about two. He's heading to second. It's a wide throw, and that helps Alex get into second base with a double. Jaron Duran. Jordan with a single his last time up. Line drive, base hit down the line and right. That's going to score a run. Jordan will take second base. Another base hit against a lefty. The Astros lead this game 6-3. to three. Yeah, they had walked Jordan intentionally earlier in the game. Yiner drives one. Deep to left field. Well over the monster, out of the stadium. A two-run bomb by Yiner Diaz. And the Astros up big now. It's 8-3. to three. Oh, hey, bartender. That was a big one. Put an extra shot in that Yiner bomb. 448 feet. Putting that one on the highway. Yiner Diaz crushes one of his longest home runs of the year. And now the Astros up five. Still nobody out of the inning. Well, the Astros offense says, wait. That's a call strike. Singleton thought it was up, but he is down on strikes. How about the shot by the catcher? Tried to beat him with that elevated fastball, but you can see that front side absolutely cleared out for Yiner Diaz as he threw the barrel through the zone. And 110.2 off the bat, and that was completely out of the stadium. Astros fans reacting to that shot. That ball's drilled. This is not going to have the elevation to get out. But Jeremy Pena, he's going to think about second. He'll break it down, though. Duran would have thrown him out. But Jeremy hits one off the monster. So the local guy playing here at Fenway with a base hit. 2017. That one's a line drive. Zach has his first hit of the night. Astros piling up the hits here in the late innings. They had seven hits in the seventh. And now they've added five more hits in the ninth. A little broken bat. They're not going to be able to turn two on this. They'll go to first for the out. They'll keep runners on second and third with two away. It's for the Astros. And a couple of stakes. He pops ah. it up. Foul territory. Dominic Smith down from the line. Puts it away for the final out of the inning. Martin somewhere freaking out. That one's down, yeah. ball four. So Duran picks up a walk here to start the ninth inning. Back to back walks. Presley may ask them to work on the mound. He is not real happy with his. Ground ball towards Altuve. He will take the shore out at first base. He thought about going to second, but then wisely got the out at first. A little chopper. Tough play for Bregman. He's going to try and tag the runner. He got him. The runner, Rest Night, are running right into Bregman for the fielder's choice. And that's out number two with a run scoring. Ground ball towards the hole. Bregman cuts it off, goes to Altuve. That's a winner for the Astros, 8-4, to four, the final score. Astros have won three in a row on this road trip. They're now 3-1 and one on the trip, and they take a half-game lead over Seattle in the AL West. The Mariners play the Mets 
later on tonight. Blummer, good way to kick off this series at Fenway. Yeah, good way to win this ball game. The offense showing up again. They love swinging the bats here at Fenway Park, and they proved that again, putting up 16 hits, eight runs. And I had to use everybody in that bullpen, but as long as you win that game, that's all that matters. Astros win it eight to four. A big four-run seventh inning, and then three more in the ninth. Kevin Eschenfelder, Brian Bogus, Sevek, Josh Reddick. The post-game show is presented by Whataburger. Julia Morales will try and stay as dry as possible, gathering an inter interview out on the field as well as in the clubhouse. Post-game show comes up next.